The Ministry of External Affairs is also addressing a press conference on Prime Minister Narendra Modi's upcoming visit to Russia and to Austria. Let's take a look. Joining us for a special briefing by Foreign Secretary Sri Vinay Quatra on the upcoming visit of Prime Minister to Russia and Austria. We are also joined on the dais by Secretary West Sri Pavan Kapoor and additional Secretary Eurasia Division Sri Charanjit Singh along with additional secretary who looks after Central Europe, Sri Arun Kumar Sahu. With that, sir, I invite you to make your opening remarks. Thank you very much, uh, Secretary West, Pan Kapoor, uh, colleagues from the ministry, friends from the media, thank you very much for coming out this afternoon for this special briefing. Uh, I would like to brief our friends from the media, as uh, Randeer just said, on Honorable Prime Minister's upcoming two-nation tour to Russia and Austria. Honorable Prime Minister will pay an official visit to Moscow on 8th, 9th July at the invitation of the President of the Russian Federation for the 22nd Annual Summit. The last, that is 21st Annual Summit, you would recall, was held in New Delhi in December 2021. The two leaders thereafter met in September 2022 in Samarkand on the margins of the SCO summit in Uzbekistan. They have also stayed in touch with each other through several telephonic conversations through these years. As of now, Prime Minister is scheduled to arrive in Moscow in the afternoon, late afternoon of 8th July. President Putin will host a private dinner for Honorable Prime Minister on the day of arrival. Uh, the next day, Honorable Prime Minister's interactions would include an interface with the Indian community in Russia. As part of uh, programming elements, Prime Minister will also lay a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier in Kremlin. And thereafter, Honorable Prime Minister will visit the Rosatom Pavilion at the exhibition venue in Moscow. These engagements will be followed by a restricted uh, level talk between the two leaders, which will then be followed by delegation level talks um, led by Honorable Prime Minister and the Russian President. Honorable Prime Minister will depart Moscow for Vienna in the afternoon of 9 July. The 22nd annual summit uh, between India and Russia would provide an opportunity to the two leaders to review the whole range of bilateral issues, including defense, trade linkages, investment ties, energy cooperation, SNT, education, culture, and people-to-people -people exchanges. They would also share perspectives on regional and global developments of mutual interest. They would also assess the status of bilateral engagements in groupings such as BRICS, Shanghai Cooperation Organization, G20, East Asia Summit, and the UN. The issue of early discharge of Indian nationals who have been misled into the service of the Russian army is also expected to figure in the discussions. Other areas of interest would also include cooperation across the range of areas that I just listed out above. Uh, India-Russia have a special and privileged partnership since 2020, which has remained resilient in the wake of multiple geopolitical challenges that the world has been facing. Annual summit between the two leaders is the highest mechanism to steer and drive the cooperation between our two countries. Uh, our bilateral exchanges with Russia have also remained fairly frequent over the last year. The two foreign ministers have met several times last year. Most recently, they met uh, day before yesterday on the sidelines of the SCO summit. EM had also visited Moscow and St. Petersburg in December last year. And the two national security advisors have also met a few times last year. India-Russia bilateral trade has seen a sharp increase in 2023-24. It has since touched close to $65 billion, 
primarily due to strong energy cooperation between India and Russia. With Indian exports of US dollar 4 billion and Indian imports being close to 60 billion, trade remains imbalanced, which is a matter of priority in our discussions with the Russian side. Uh, we also have growing investment ties between the two countries, including in the field of energy, banking, railways and steel. Uh, these are the growing areas of our investment partnership. Russia also remains an important partner for India's energy security and defense. In the area of nuclear energy, Kodankulam nuclear power plant units 1 and 2 have already become operational and the work is progressing on units 3 and 6. In the field of defense also, we continue to work closely across a full range of its subdomains. Both sides are currently working on a series of outcome documents which would be the result of this summit. The specifics of these outcomes would be shared with our media friends as and when they are finalized. In the second leg of the trip, Prime Minister will be visiting Austria on 9-10 July at the invitation of the Chancellor of Austria. This will be Prime Minister Shinarin Modi's first visit to Austria. Prime Minister had met the then Austrian Chancellor, uh, who is now the Foreign Minister, His Excellency Schallenberg, in October 21 on the sidelines of COP26 in Glasgow. The last Prime Ministerial visit, I must mention, from India to Austria took place more than 40 years ago. Uh, in terms of programming elements, the Prime Minister, uh, besides uh, the ceremonial welcome being accorded to him, would also call on the President of Austria and hold restricted delegation-level talks as also a business, high-level business engagement uh, in Austria. Austria is an important Central European country, the headquarters of, as you would all know, International Atomic Energy Agency, UNIDO, UNODC, and OSCE. Austria offers excellent opportunities for bilateral cooperation in infrastructure, renewable energy, high technology areas, startup sectors, media and entertainment. Austria India trade is largely balanced and has registered good growth over the last couple of years. Our investment linkages also continue to grow, even though in volume terms they may be small. Several Austrian companies have presence in India. In February 24, in India-Austria Startup Bridge was also launched, which has already had a very promising start. India and Austria had also signed a comprehensive migration and mobility agreement in May last year and both sides will continue to work closely to expand and explore new areas of bilateral partnership. The visit, we are confident, will allow us to discuss various areas of importance in bilateral uh, engagement as also issues of regional and global importance of mutual interest and help broaden the scope of our partnership. I would stop here and take questions. Secretary West is here with me to answer anything, any questions relating to the Austria leg of the visit. Thank you very much. Can we start, from beyond. Uh, my question is, how much will the conflict in Ukraine be part of the conversation when PM meets President Putin? And will India also discuss the aggressive actions by the Chinese in the Indo-Pacific? Sir Pranay Upadhyay, as you said, you have said that the Prime Minister will be focused on the focus of the Prime Minister of Ukraine on the focus of the Prime Minister of Ukraine. The focus of the Prime Minister of Ukraine will be raised by the Prime Minister of Ukraine. The Vedesh Mantrali's opinion is that the Prime Minister of Ukraine is the most important part of the Prime Minister of Ukraine. And the second thing is that the Supreme Commander of the Russian Armed Forces will talk about the Prime Minister of Ukraine. So we will raise this question before. What will our goal be and our demand be? For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.